Good everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. So what I'll do today, I'll talk about neural networks, a uh, brief touch on neural network. I'm not going to uh, get into the details, nitty gritty stuff, because that's not really needed for this course. But it's good to know what neural network is about and this application, right? Which is obviously, that's the key thing. In the last episode, I talked about supervised learning and unsupervised learning, right? I talked about a house price example. Uh, neural network is, is often when people talk about neural network, right, they associate neural network with deep learning. That's one of the core uh, thing when it comes to deep learning. And the neural network, the term neural networks, uh, it was coined keeping the human brain into consideration. Like in our human brain, we have neurons which perform certain actions, right? So, you know, you have dent uh, dendrites, you have axioms, which uh, is responsible for, you know, transfer, transfer of information um, in the brain. So back in 1980s, uh, the scientists, the people uh, who were part of this project, they came up with an idea. Let's build something called artificial neuron, uh, which will mimic the capability of a brain. Um, but for some reason, the project got stopped because of limitation of the computation power um, and lack of funding, right? But now... You know, in 2023, we have a huge computation power. So, so deep learning has picked up uh, significantly in the last six, seven years, right? You you would have seen a lot of deep learning applications that's coming out. A lot of companies are using deep learning. Um, so deep learning is in is a pretty interesting thing. Um, my uh, thesis um, in when I was doing my uni, it was based on neural network, and it was almost 15 years ago. So back in the days, you know, computers were not so powerful like today. So I did a thesis on it. It was pretty cool. Um, so I've been, I've been in this space for that long. And, but unfortunately I didn't have a chance to work continuously in a neural network. It's just that lately, you know, thanks to my climate change foundation, I started involving more into it. So now that's all fine, right? You must be saying, okay, that's all fine. Neural networks, you know, it mimics the human brain. So we're trying to mimic the human brain in the computer. Is that what it's all about? Uh, kind of. So when we talk about neural networks, we often talk about artificial neural networks, right? Because um, everything, what we represent, if you're talking in terms of a logical description, we talk in form of a node. So everything is a node and each node is responsible for some form of computation. So I wanted to take you through a very simple example where we have input layer. So the layers consist of different nodes and we have hidden layer and then we have output layer, which, which tells you whether it's the right output or not. Right Now, you must be thinking, OK, can I predict house price? Not really. It's not really used for that. Right. For that, you have a logistic reg regression. That's a part of the machine learning algorithm. Say, for instance, if you wanted to represent, uh, identify a handwritten uh, text, a number, you can use neural network for that. Image recognition is one of the core uh, view, uh, computer vision, right? Uh, so if you wanted to recognize an image, right? Uh, usually, let me, let me give an example, right? Because you must be thinking this guy is blabbering. So number seven, yeah, or number six. So your human brain recognizes it, number seven, number six, right? Okay, if I put this, your brain will think it, it's seven. If I put this, it will say, oh, yeah, it's six. If I put like this, you will say, hmm, it's kind of numbers. What number is it? It will say, hmm, it's six. And if I put like this, right, you will say, ah, oh, it's seven. If I put like this, you might say, hmm, it represents seven. So your brain can identify that right but if you put let's say nine and you say mm, no nah, that's not equal to seven that's nine right and if you put something like that mm, so mm, that's more like a nine right that's not a seven but this one we will call it as a seven now we can do that using computers um algorithms but if you wanted to hardcore it um, because usually the image is represented by pixels. Now, if you go by pixel to pixel, uh, you normally talk about, you know, 28 times 28 grayscales. So, uh, so 
it's something 700 something so uh so you normally an image is represented broken down into pixels right so now if you are representing say um say seven so all of this will represent it in in the form of pixels right and now based on this pixels uh, so this pixel each pixel will be given as an input to the neural network and then we have hidden layer which does the training i don't want it to get into you know activation functions and all kind of stuff that is a core foundation of it but this is like i said this is a simple course uh i will not get into the deep dive neural network at this stage just for now just remember this our application on neural network in this case is hand hand uh, <laughs> recognizing and handwritten text right so the way it works right so you have notes you have notes here i'll keep it very simple right let's keep it three this is the input layer yeah and then we have hidden layer all right just say hidden layer and then we have output layer i mean i'm making it very simple uh let's say it's up till 10 right okay all right so all these pixels right in this case is 700 or something so we'll have 700 input here but i'm not going to show that so let's say each one is as an input right each one is an input so you pass one pixel here another pixel here so and this will pass to uh the hidden layer the hidden layers could have lots of nodes but this is a very simple and you have this nodes connected here this nodes connected here um and and this node connected here this node connected here this node connected here so this all all right so and this will connect it to here this will connect it to here so connect it to here this will just i know it's a it's a yucky diagram but this is an input layer yeah this is a hidden layer this is an output layer so output layer will tell you okay i'm passing this seven so if your model is good if your neural network is good it will tell you okay this seven has a weight factor uh, which is higher than the other node so that means it will be seven right if it says that oh it is six instead of seven that means your neural network is not trained properly so there are algorithms called back propagation algorithm which you can use to train it and there are different activation functions sigmoid relu so uh, it, it's an interesting topic it's a huge topic but for now just think about from a salesforce consultant why even i'm talking about it right because we are talking about artificial intelligence and our ai topic is incomplete if you don't talk about neural networks so that's one of the reasons why i said think when you think about a neural network think about your trying to mimic a human brain and and that's exactly what we're trying to do we're trying to at a very simple scale right because obviously you can't replicate human brain human brain has you know trillions of permutations or combination and it's and we need extremely powerful computing power if you really wanted to mimic it some says the scientists have already mimicked it but i'm not 100 percent sure about that but that's 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 a topic of debate but that being said uh in this we're going a very simple example i wanted to find out if this uh, image is seven or six right so i have an input layer hidden layer which does all the learning and does all the calculations and then the output layer which displays uh, whether it's the right output or not input layer takes the pixel uh params right so that's uh, you can also use uh this in natural language processing um translator from one language to another language you can use that uh neural network has a lot of a lot of examples you can but i give you a very simple realistic example which do get used right you know network. this is very common used recognizing handwriting you know writing uh signature verification that could be another thing which you can use neural networks right so yeah so that's something i wanted to cover today and i hope you enjoyed it it's a very basic like i said but that's all you need at this stage uh when we get into more um uh, when we get into more uh, topics right and if there's a need to cover deep dive 
um, then I will talk about it, right? So that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing, um, what day is it today? Uh, I don't even forget it. I don't even remember the day. Oh, yeah, Thursday. Adios.